Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and today we're going to be doing another Scrolls ranked match. So, my rating is all the way up to 1823, which puts me in the top 340 players, which is pretty awesome. Um, I was able to rise in ratings so, quick, so quickly from like my 1600 something last episode because I got lucky and I played some really high ranked opponents. Like, I played two guys in the top 30, I believe, Mita Ringo and forgot the other guy's name but he was definitely high up there and i reached like 25 rating from beating both of those guys just by a lucky growth hand though so today since we did growth last time i think we're gonna play with an order deck so this is the deck we'll be using today and hopefully i don't get my ass kicked i really want to use those wing shields and maybe wing soldiers but I do not have them yet. I do have a lot of gold from that double gold Monday. But I'm, I want to buy the de Decay Preconstructed deck, pre deck when it comes out. And I guess I do want to trade for the Wing Shields. But it's not really necessary at the moment. Let's hope we can win this game. Hi. Good luck. Alright. So our starting hand is not too bad. And he's an energy player. Um, we're going to sack the flip. We don't need two flips from the start. So energy really got playable with these new cards. The Solemn Giant, that thing is a beast. It's so cool. It's the thing that you put down for like four cost. And then you like pay energy to make it like attack with eight attack. Um, I'll sack a transposition. Alright, I know Royal Spearman isn't that good against energy because a lot of energy's units are ranged attackers and that won't, um, that won't take spiky damage, but, I mean, having this card is better than nothing. Um, I'll sack the other flip. Play you right here. Alright, so now we'll have, if all goes well, we'll play a Ducal and then a Knight Scholar. Unless we get something better. Yeah, so Energy also got um, Storm Runner, which is a moving lobber, which is really cool. Alright, good Iron Whip. There's not really anything I could have done to avoid that. Anything I did, if I put him somewhere else on the board, the other guy would have been able to iron whip me and kill me. Um, Alright, he has a commanding board presence right now. And I'm going to stick a Ducal Skirmisher. It's good that he can't get burned with his 4 health. Right at the bottom here. Alright. Hopefully I can get a Night Scholar out there in front of him to protect him for a little bit. He only has two scrolls right now. Let's see what happens. Inukshuk. I think I've played this guy before. As you play more scrolls, you tend to play more of the same players because the game isn't too popular at the moment. So, when you're playing high ranked, you tend to run into the same people a lot. Okay, and I need some friends though. I've been getting used out of that friends list. And there's the Storm Runner. It's a pretty awesome card. Pretty scary. Alright, he definitely has a huge board presence right now. So I think I'm going to sack the Spearman. For a Night Scholar. And let's see. I want to put pressure. I want to try to kill that Storm Runner. So I'll move my guy up here. All right, so he has six health, so that just goes. So he's fine. He, unless he uses like a concentrate fire, on no. Even if he does use a concentrate fire, it doesn't kill him. If he goes with um like, if he uh, uses bombard or something to make that uh lobber, lobber go, then I'm done. Still wouldn't be that bad. 
yeah, actually, yeah, even if he, even if that lava attacks, I think that my, my, um, oh, he didn't attack, but I think my, um, Night Scholar would have one health left anyways. Okay. Okay, I was hoping I would get some sort of focus here. Ah, no focus. Okay. So he's going to attack. Um, I have three, uh, I guess. This guy's three health now, so he's vulnerable to this dust runner. Do I want to take down that guy and that, or what? I'm going to take down him. Okay. And this guy's he can move up and hurt me. I'm gonna make it so he can't hit both of these guys with one lob. And if I move you over here, I don't think he can get to me. I don't think he could lob it over to him. Well, actually, if he goes here, can he? No, I don't think so. Because, all right, so then if you go one sideways, yeah, then he would be getting these four spaces. And I'd like that. All right. It's probably going to put something in front of it to protect it because my Night Scholar is going to cool down next turn. And now I could play a General next turn something we'll see he only has one scroll so I'm not too afraid six energy though so he could go for he could go for a violent dispersal on something a thunder surge would not be too good for him right here because there's not really many connected units okay and he goes for the cannon Okay. I'll sack the heritage in case I get a blessing of haste or something. And no blessing of haste. Um. Let's see. If I kill you. Then you kill me. If I bother you and kill you, this guy still dies. Speak to this guy. And if I bother him, I'll probably be able to kill a spearman. So that's not a really good idea. Or if I, yeah, and if I bother, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go for the. In case we get a blessing of haste, let's just bother. And should we go for another pother? I'll pother you. And we didn't get anything great. Okay. Alright, everybody, let's... Let's move back into position. Not really. My starting position, this guy's over there. Okay, so... That Night Scholar will die... And I'm fully suspecting a burn here on that, um, on that middle skirmisher. But if he doesn't, I'm in great shape. Then I've at least six attack coming down those middle lanes. And I also have focus in my pocket. So I could stick one of those on those guys. Ooh. Not good. Alright, good iron whip by him. And he is top decking now. Okay. So now what do I want to do? I can go for six. I can go for nine damage. Um this guy is gonna go for five damage. Let's see. That's four damage there, and that is one, two, three, four, five. Alright, I'm gonna kill the thing that's attacking right now. Which is the priority, I guess, at the moment. I don't need two generals right now. I'm gonna play a Night Scholar in front of him to protect him. 
Okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot about the um, armor. Ouch. It wasn't good. I should have gone to kill the two units on the top. Bit of a misplay by me. Now he has that one. Hold oh, it. Could, if I could just get a kabonk, I'll be, I'll be happy. Um. All right, this guy's dead. He is dead. Should I imperial? Yeah, why not? All right. And. I'm just gonna move down so he chases me down. Ah, I'm in the dust runner's range. I wanna move him also. Oh well. I just want to kinda move away a little bit so it chases him down so I can uh, start a little army up top. I do have a Kabonk in my hand, so. That uh, cannon won't last much longer. I wish I had two Kabonks so I can destroy that uh, dust runner. Alright. We got another Imperial. Very interesting. So I'm gonna go with a Kabonk. Ooh, exactly what the doctor ordered. But we'll just save that for another turn. Go with another Imperial. Okay. We have an extreme card and energy advantage. Not energy, I mean resource. He's playing energy. Because we have three more um, order then he has energy and we have four more cards in him and he plays the solemn giant okay that thing is ready to attack hmm come on all right we can go General Kabonk, or I mean, we can go General Skirmisher. We can definitely do that. Look at, look at these things attacking. Anything I put is going to take a lot of damage right now. Hmm. If I go Skirmisher speed, I can destroy something, but why would I want to do that right now? Um, I think I'm gonna go with, or I might as well just kabonk something, um, wait, I can go with nine. Alright, I'm just going to kabonk you, not kabonk, I'll kabonk you. And now we got another speed, I'll play these two guys this turn. So I'll, s I don't want to sack a general or this. I'll just sack the speed. Might not be the best. Ah, oh, I don't even have that much resources. Um, I guess I'll just put you there. Eh. Alright, he'll absorb it. He'll absorb a hit. I thought, uh, for some reason I got the thing that, uh, 3 and 5 I only need 7 resources to play. Whoops. Ah, all right. At least he didn't get the card draw from that burn. Okay. If only I was playing growth right now, I could kinfolk vet that solemn giant right now. I could royal skirmisher speed right now. Hmm. I'm going to. This isn't a good time to appear. I can start getting units on the board. Um, let's go with a Royal Skirmisher. Um, I will sack the Night Scholar. Not sure how I like that. 
Now I get a Royal Skirmisher. Play Ducal Skirmisher. And I'll speed you up. Alright. Now that Solemn Giant's out of the way. You don't have to worry about it. I really wish I kept that speed though. I already I've gotten rid of two two of the three speeds in my deck already. I sacked one and I just used one. It's always nice to have a speed general or a manganel speed. Ah, and he goes for another cannon. Hmm. He can block some hits. So can the general. Alright, we don't need him. And now we get the now we get the mangano. If we had that speed, and we have a focus, we just had that speed. Um, so that's only five to kill him. You need one more hit, and I will play you down here. All right. Stand my ground. I have a focus and two skirmishers attacking back there. So, hopefully, he doesn't burn one in the back. But he already, I think he already used like two burns, and he only has two scrolls. Not much you could do here. That's where those imperial resources help me. I have more options because I keep getting more scrolls, and my order is already at eleven. And now he doesn't have any pump creatures. He doesn't have a uh, Automata Forge or a um, or a Solemn Giant that he can pump energy into. So he's just gonna have to have some weak turns. Up oh, there's the Solemn Giant and a Scatter Gunner. Okay, good. Now I can go with oh another Manganel. Two Manganels could really be handy. So I'm going to. I don't want to sack that. Let's see. Six damage, and that is one, two, three, four. I, I can go for nine damage. Eight, and then wouldn't do anything. Um, what should I do? I think I'm gonna have to sack the one mangonel here. We get a vanguard. Alright. I'll just stick a focus on you. So I'll go for six, and then I'll go for three. Alright, so you can go back there. You can go there. I'll hide you back here. And I'll protect you. It'll be interesting to see who just who he decides to kill with this. He can I think he's gonna kill the general. I didn't want to put this vanguard in front of him because I mean a three health spearman is not that valuable. Not spearman, uh, skirmisher is not that valuable against energy anyways with all the burns. And this, I'm, I'm expecting a, I don't think he's, I don't know if he's playing spark. He hasn't used that yet. But if he's playing, oh he is. <laughs> Speaking of it, yeah I was just going to say he's probably going to destroy one of the front creatures like him or him and destroy the back one. Alright. Certainly a good move there. Um, alright, second the other mangonel, and, hmm, man, we have a blessing of haste, but what's that gonna do for us right now, we can't, if one, if we had two blessing of haste, that'd be great, um, alright, it's time, run away and 
let's just let's just play some other guys just for good measure all right Let's see what he can let's see what he can do with his three scrolls. Not much. At least he can't win the game here. A lot of times with energy they could just quickly win the game. Like faster than like um like more surprising than when growth up with the god hand, they just quickly like stick like a magma pack on their um cannon at automaton and then just blows up an idol and then they do like concentrate fire on something else but luckily that can't happen right now interesting and he doesn't attack anything now this is where I want a pother I really want a pother now hmm I want a pother um I don't want a second skirmisher, but especially a ducal one. Alright. I'll sack the Imperial. Yes! Oh no. I thought for a second I thought that was a bother for a second. I don't know why. Um Let's see. Man, I wanna put pressure on him. Um Hmm. Alright. It's a little risky move right there. Okay. And now, no use of using these. I moved up a little bit. So I'm basically giving this spearman up, but really what good is that going to do for me? It's just a chump blocker right now. Now I'm happy that he can't win. Ooh, Metal Wonder. Cool. Cool, yeah. Ah. Okay. Huh. Alright, I'm going to sack one haste. Oh, we got a pother. Um, wait, can we win? We can destroy that idol and that idol. And then it's eight. No, we can't win. Okay. That would be pretty epic if we could win right now. Um, three plus three is six. And that would not be enough to even dent this guy. Well, it would dent him a little bit. Um. What do we want to do? Um. I guess I should. Destroy. That. And then I guess. Oh, if these guys switch places, then I could... No, I can't. I can't win. Um... Do, 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 do. Other? Ah, transposition. Ooh, transposition. Um... If I go with three and then... Nah, no use in doing that. Um... Oh, I have so many cards, though. I'll transposition. And a mangonel. And a heritage. Oh my god, that thing is... That, uh, this metal water thing was going crazy. What it does is, every time you play a spell or enchantment, it deals two damage to a random idol. Alright. 
I was being a little stupid there. I was debating whether or not I should play that like transition and stuff. Of course I should because I had ten I had ten order left. Oh man, I had I had a Manganel speed I could have played. I could have well I guess it wouldn't be that great right now. It could I didn't have a focus or anything. Up oh, here's the bombard. No. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. We need to focus. Focus. <sighs> Alright, I guess we'll go with the Mingano. And this... Ooh, general speed. Um... Nine. Oh, we can't play it. Um... This isn't good. This is not very good. I guess we should... come up a little bit we can general speed but really what would that do I guess it's time to just if I play a manganel would that really help that much no I need to focus with it so I'm gonna go with an imperial No, I need any more hit points in front of these things. I'll go with a Night Scholar and a General. Okay. This is scary. I don't think he can win, no. But he can definitely take out a lot of my units with one bombard or an iron whip. A bombard would it wouldn't be that bad actually. He would take out a vanguard. Yeah, I actually wouldn't be too bad if he bombarded. I think I'm actually in a better position than him right now. Man, if I was packing decimation, I could just draw it and win. Hmm. A lot of pressure on him right now is my guys are going to cool down next turn so if he doesn't get some like bombard right now and even that wouldn't save him vd okay and a fury ah that's probably better than the bombard well no it's the same thing um Okay. Now I got the Mingan L speed focus. Good. Okay, so can I win? If I go. To, oh, to destroy those guys. I have to put it there. And this guy has to attack behind it. Damn. Um. I guess I just have to. Sack something, um I don't want to sack a vanguard. Uh sack one of the blessing of haste. We get a kabonk. Kabonk. Alright, I'm just gonna go with the mango speed focus now. Mango speed focus. Ah. This guy is going to attack first, but those guys are dead anyways. So I'm going to draw a card. And I get another focus. Um I can go for 8 damage right there, but what would that do? Yeah, wouldn't do much. Okay. Huh. <sighs> there we go. Psalm Giant. Oh no. No! 
GG dude. <laughs> wow. Solemn giant. <laughs> I should have expected that. I should have gotten something in front of there. Oof. Well, I had to do what I had to do. Our rating drops. He had a high rating though, so we didn't lose too much. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Nerf the Ninja, and I'll see you all next time.